Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Office Bloke Das. I'm Office Bloke Aiden. Here we are on Sports Edition. If sports is for you, you know what to do. Leave us a like and subscribe if you Thank don't mind. You guys. You appreciate it. A uh, bit of a urinating tree. Very funny guy. Makes me laugh. Uh, yeah, the yeah. Haters Guide to the 24 MLB postseason. It's getting into the crunch time of things it's now in the playoffs MLB, now. isn't it? Playoffs. Which is uh, probably about when the time we, where I'll start watching it. You know, when we go when we go to the USA next uh, next month, uh -huh. um, I'm definitely going to have to get myself. I know I'm not a Phillies fan. But that light blue Phillies uniform with the purple P. What? I've oh, got to get right, something. Yeah. I've got to get something because it's uh, it's absolutely mint. I love it. The yeah. colours, the colour of the uniform is just great. So I'm gonna have to pick something up with that. I don't know what yet, but I'm gonna get something. Cool, cool. Let's get into this. It's a wide open world on the diamond. Both the World Series winner and runner up of last year are both out of the way. A fresh mix of contenders enter to strike gold and glory alike. Look at the, the old guard, the eternal bridesmaids, the young guns, and those that just want to watch things burn. Twelve teams fight in the ultimate test of metal and might. Get in the pressure cooker. It's time to go. And the Yankees are elite. Several moods are felt throughout baseball. Seething hatred for every other fan base for their success. ESPN celebrates since they don't have to care about any other team. Brian Cashman continues to live rent-free at Yankee Stadium. To be fair, he did bring in Juan Soto, and he's an absolute beast. Until he's gonna get an entire vault dedicated to his payday this winter. Judge is still judge, jury, and executioner of baseball. And Glebert Torres is back to form. DJ ah! LeMahieu is not. But that starting rotation? It's been impressive, especially with Carlos Rodon's revival. Nestor Cortez ah! might be out for the postseason, but they can execute anyone within range. Clay Holmes is also an executioner of late game save situations. Seriously, what the hell happened to him and Strom? But these are minor concerns. Aaron Judge managed to repair his lucky bat just in time for October. Come on, John Sterling's emerging from retirement to call the Yankees postseason. Everything is lining up in pinstripes for a deep run. If they blow this particularly oh. to a Texas-based team... Oh boy. Congratulations, Guardians. What do you reckon, Yankees? Do what do you think? No. They'll win it. I wouldn't want them to win it. The but Yankees, the Yankees are like the Man United of baseball, aren't they? The old Declan went they? and brought me a uh, baseball top, didn't he, for my birthday? And it was a Yankees. Top. He said, "I've got you a Mets top." Yeah, and then it was a Yankees one. I've never worn it before. <laughs> They're like the Dallas Cowboys, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, MLB. You were the proud recipients of this shiny AL Central title because your rivals couldn't play the White Sox every game. The fact is that surprisingly, middling since the break is more than good enough to take the crown and then so. Don't let that fool you into believing Cleveland's what a cakewalk. pitch? Have you seen that pitching staff? Destroying worlds with arms out the wazoo. When Emmanuel Classe steps onto the mound, done. You're fucked. Goodbye, have a nice life. <laughs> the million dollar question has always been in the batter's box. The headliner being Jose Ramirez, having the quietest 40-40 campaign in recorded history. But is he better than Barry Bonds? It's a massive reach. Maybe he can get some help this time around. He's a unit, isn't it? Noel yeah. and maybe Lane Thomas, it's wild cards. Naylor, Quan, it'd be awful nice for you guys to get back to pass form. If only this team could get on base or hit righties, they'd be fine. Yeah, this team's gonna have to pitch people to death. Can they just clone Class A 15 times? Yes, go on the Astros. I remember everyone cheering their demise back in April. From banging trash cans to being thrown in sight. <laughs> Destroyed beyond repair as they revive from the dead to retake what was once theirs. Thanks a lot, Seattle. You're fucking useless. <laughs> Rumors of their demise were quite premature. With that hitting core, they'll strike fear on anyone that dares step on the mound. It might be Alex Bregman's last ride as an Astro. They have to make it count. As long as you're done, still a beast that will continue. If he's at full strength in October, that is. Also, as long as the pitching questions don't linger. They have pieces there. Kikuchi's been solid in his role too. But what about Verlander? He's been nowhere near optimal form this year. It's because he's about 57, isn't he? Yeah, he was Jeez, a mess, wasn't he? Can he get it back in time? Can anyone close games besides Josh Hader? Do you dare trust the wild card of Ryan Presley? They've already had to evade IL stint after IL stint with their arms. They can't afford much more attrition than this. But we already know one reality. If they face the Yankees. Game over, Bronx. I agree. Oh, great team. Well, I don't, mate. I think the Astros are going to win the whole thing. That's what I'm mate. saying. I think, yeah, yeah. I think you say that's what you say. That's what he's saying. He's saying if they play the Yankees, game over Bronx. So it's, um, he's going for the, uh, for the, the Astros. Astros. Yeah. Let's, go. Let's mm. go through growing pains. 
Baltimore, they didn't just hit a speed bump, they drove past it so fast they flipped over the car. At Camden, September debuted the Oralos. A team that will do everything I, they, Weren't to... these, like, always really bad, and then the last two years have just been quite good? No, the, Ori the, uh, the Orioles. Yeah. They, they had, um, didn't they have, um... When they, were, they had Cal Ripken and all I, that. I just like when you look to MLB teams, you yeah, years I ago. always looked to the Orioles as like one of the worst. Well, I remember. And, they, and then the last two years, they've got to the postseason. Yeah, I think, weren't they, weren't they the favourites last year, weren't they? Or one of the favourites. They, were, they were had the best record, yeah. didn't they? Still, yeah. Until, for a long time anyway. In a great season any way they can. When you lose 11 of 16 to piss away a division, <laughs> you finally had your first winning month since June, and most of your pitching turns into utter puke. There's limping into the playoffs, and then there's this. The frustrating part is that they have the talent to go far. We've seen it repeatedly. But can they turn the tide? They have the starting mm. rotation to do it, minus Suarez turning into a pumpkin. Hope is here. It's okay, boys. The gas can has been removed. You can no longer haunt your ninth innings with his evil. <laughs> if only most of their deadline acquisitions didn't flame out. Or if Grayson Rodriguez wasn't shut down for the year. I still have hope for Baltimore long term, but this year might be a stretch. What the hell happened to Rutschman anyway? I guess you could say they were able I did to not realize these were good. Like with the Tigers, it's been too damn long. And it nearly didn't happen. There's one man to credit for this for the most part. His name is Bobby Witt Jr., a bona fide superstar and transcendent figure carrying this long more of unfranchised to glory. Salvi Perez is still a Kansas City legend in the making. Plus, their many free agent acquisitions have played a huge role, especially in the rotation. Seth Lugo is apparently elite now. Who knew? Even for their impeccable run, they nearly pissed it away the moment Vinny Pasquantino got shoved. The bullpen's battered by injury. Multiple seven-game skids. The recent run-scoring abilities have been drier than the goddamn oh, Sahara right. Desert. A donut on the score sheet for 27 innings. If it weren't for their pitching performing Herculean tasks, the Polads may have gotten away with being cheap asses. But what's done is done. They made the big dance. And now we ask the ultimate question. Are the Royals a legitimate foe? Or are they simply glorified White Sox merchants? <laughs> if they fail, they can chuck it up to their stadium deal falling through. Mm. Holy shit, they made it? Fucking Detroit. This is the most <laughs> hilarious timeline I didn't know I needed. The Tigers <laughs> sold say, it. A lot of these teams are in the postseason. I didn't. I wouldn't have thought would well, make it. Rangers are out, aren't they? Good. Mm. Deadline. They were eight games under 500. They had an infinitesimal chance of making it in mid-August and said, Fuck it, let's cause some chaos. Thank you, Minnesota, for the epic collapse. The Tigers just showed up to the party like the awkward dude who doesn't say anything, but peeps into the conversation a few hours in. <laughs> when he brought a case of good beer, you can't make him leave. <laughs> Let me tell you how this happened. It's funny, isn't it? First, you remove Javi Baez. Then you thrive. Gaze at Riley Green and Gary Carpenter. Hitting solid baseballs all around. Just don't ask most of them to hit for average. <laughs> you assume the future on the mound was Casey Mize and Matt Manning. Turns out it was Tarek Skubal and Reese Olsen. A dual-wielding power punch. The bullpen has become one of the most underrated in the game today. Especially with all the young arms hurling fire. How about some more highly well, regarded won't. youth? Jackson Job, welcome to the show. Solid pitching and fielding, it's house money, baby! Nothing stops this hilarious train from rolling along. Now, if they could publicly flog Alavila during the inevitable parade, it complete the dream season. Oh. Winning is the main priority. Anything will be done to secure it. After the Dodgers lost to the powers of heart and friendship last year, the dollars would rain down on talent. It's kind of worked. Show is a transcendent demigod is expected. <laughs> Cooled off a little bit, but how do you dismiss a 50-50 campaign off the bat? Teoscar Hernandez? Think Seattle could use him or what? Them and Army of Power and Elite Performance everywhere in the batter's box. Mm. Now, as long as Mookie can get out of the funkies in, I think they'll be fine there. Loading over their NL West rivals <laughs> was expected, but the common threat continues to lurk in the shadows. Starting pitching's a recurring concern. Sure. Losing everyone there killed him before, and it might do so again. Tyler Glass now was good until the inevitable injuries took hold. Uh. Gavin Stone was a revelation until he got predictably hurt. Is Clayton oh. Kershaw gonna be healthy enough to go? I don't know. You might need to since Miller and Bueller went absent like the latter's namesake. At least Yamamoto's back from the I.L. and Flaherty's healthy. L.A. tried like hell to avoid starting rotation depth issues. They have starting rotation depth issues. What a shame. If there's anything the world doesn't need, it's Dave Roberts over managing his bullpen. 
with the um, with the Dodgers, I think you know, they, they, like, said, like he said there, he's got they've got a very powerful um, batting uh, lineup, haven't they? Um, I know games isn't just won by batting there, but with Shohei Otani's um, record that he's smashed this season, the, I, I don't know where it finished at. Was it fifty odd and fifty odd? Some, yeah, uh, it would be, wouldn't it? But um, oh, did, he get 60, 60, did he get sixty? Did he get sixty? Did he get sixty? Sixty? I don't think I he did. Did he? I wouldn't no. heard a lot about yeah. that. But it's um, do you think he deserves it? Do you think? Yeah, I, I'm one of them that I don't think anyone deserves anything when you're playing up against. But you got, I mean, he's been consistent the whole season. Yeah, I mean, but, whoever wins it deserves to win it. I think hmm, that's it. That's <laughs> it exactly. Yeah. Stop me if you've heard this before. Another damn good team that's been hovering around 500 after yeah. the All Star break. To be fair, with how bad they were in late July, it brings the overall numbers way down. This is a group that lives and dies with their power bats. Doesn't tend to go well when most of them go ice cold. Bryce didn't hit a home run for about a month. Trey Turner's been iffy by his height and standards. It's a cool Nick kid. Nick yeah, seems it? to only hit dingers when there's national tragedies. Fortunately, they've come around since the lows of those times. And they have a winning record in September, but they're losing series to the Mets and Brew Crew. That's not a recipe for October success. They'll need their bats to be at peak performance. They'll need the four horsemen of the mound apocalypse to dominate foes with precision. They'll need their bullpen to be lights out. It'd be awfully nice if the pitching went back to first half form. Really nice. Just do us all a favor. Please, for the love of God, keep Taiwan Walker off the map. Should go into the restaurant industry. Since his meatballs are the tastiest they've been in an age. Here we go again. Another year where the Brewers will show us the trial version of their team, wowing us into investing in the full product. We get excited about what could unfold with this piece of technology. Then it proceeds to break the damn computer once we start it up. <laughs> Milwaukee in October is not to be trusted. We learned this lesson long ago. Despite their record, the same questions keep popping up. Will this team get consistent hitting? Treras, Adamas, and Churio have been solid, but is anyone else going to be the depth this group needs? I know what you're going to say, but what about Yelich? Well, he's hurt again. Too bad. Fru Cruz hitting near the damn Mendoza line as a unit in September. That's a recipe for disaster. We know that pitching is excellent. Yeah. It has been for the last half decade. <laughs> Casual, right? Back I end know. of that bullpen is a dynamo. Even their starting rotation is surprisingly stout. But I've been scarred by past traumas. Until they win a series, I'm under the assumption that they won the NL Central because... Look at that division. It was full of inconsistency and underachieving. This is their chance to prove me wrong. I hope they do it. Can't see it. But one Hadjou. word to describe the 2024 Padres. Wagon. Barrage of hellfire sounding throughout the land seeking vengeance. Last year was lost due to terrible luck. This time around, they'll make sure that nothing's given to chance. The waft of winning consumes San Diego. And they will win and win and then keep winning. They will never tire of it. Chances like this are not to be squandered. With their trade acquisitions, it's more than proven. They haven't just been good, but great. Yep. Even better than advertised on most counts. They're looking like the complete package. Excellent contact, excellent power, excellent fielding, excellent starters. And that bullpen, if you exclude the random blobs by Robert Suarez, one of the best in the game. The question is the same as always. Can they once again beat LA? Can they overcome their legacy of failure like those before them? Can the spirit of Seidler guide them to a glory he could never taste? Or will there be another cringe rap release that ruins the moment? So that this time around, more rally goes. You'll be fine. I think that's the winner. Padres. The Padres mm. do. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. It would have been hilarious if the Braves bit the dust in game two of the doubleheader. But it's more of a testament to their organizational depth. That's impressive. I believe at this point the Braves are down to conscripting bodies playing in the pony leagues. Oh, they're one step away from going to beer leagues. There is limping into the postseason, and then there's this. If you're a key player for the Braves, you've either dealt with a lengthy injury or are currently in the trainer's room. Ronald Acuna had another ACL tear in May. Spencer Strider never had a chance. Austin <laughs> Riley's been shut out for all of October. AJ Minter's out for the year. Albies, Harris, Lopez, oh no. more. They've all been hurt. Too many. The attrition has their offense playing the score some goddamn runners in scoring position game. The only things that have been reliable are Marcelo Zuna's bat, Rysel Iglesias in the pen, and Chris Sale's impeccable revival. And right on cue, Sale's injury-free run has come to an end. He's unavailable for the wild card. And you boys have a hot date with a near-complete juggernaut. 
Well, good luck over there, guys. The body bags will be ready for your return. Wee. Tried warning you about the wrath of Grimace. You didn't listen. That first bitch of his was the greatest blessing an organization Perfect. sorely needed. <laughs> when you go from an incredibly god-awful maid to reviving like a phoenix from the ashes, Jorge Lopez is throwing more than gloves around his house. These are the anti mets A group that has gone against every single organizational trope over the past four months and shows no signs of stopping. From an alleged punt year to an incredible surge led by the musical talents of Jose Iglesias. Hitting talents, too. The real star dominates its shorts. Francisco Lindor is pretty much carrying this team on his back. If it weren't for Shohei, he'd be consensus NL MVP. The total package for the orange and blue. If anyone ever says he's overpaid, shun them immediately, they do not know ball. It's also a good dose of Mark Vientos for good measure. Their brilliant run, the Polar Bear's potential last ride here will involve the postseason. The rotation has blossomed into a strong unit of its own accord. You just wish they had Kodai Senga. This year's been lost and he might not be back for October. And will we get the real Edwin Diaz that's dominated in stretches? Who knows? Whatever happens from here, this has been a season of magic and memes. The yin to Lowell Mets yang. Perfectly balanced. If they ride this form into a World Series berth, oh my god. If you know me, this is. Can't see it though, can you? Uh, no, nah. I Mets mean, will I go back to all these teams out there, mm. but yeah. you never know. Yeah, I, I hope you do. Yeah, that'd do. be quite cool, mm. wouldn't it? This is the part you hate the most. Not just the waiting for a postseason that's anyone's to claim, but that horrible, marginally informed prediction. We will not discuss what happened last year under penalty of death. In the meantime, I don't learn. So my pick for the World Series is Astros versus Padres. I feel they're just the most complete teams that's in the dance this say. year, and I like their momentum. To I'm going to say the Astros versus the Dodgers. I was going to say Astros, pa Padres. You think Astros, Dodgers. Mm. Well, I might see the Mets in there somehow, or somewhere. Mm. What's the postseason? I swear to God, if this prediction blows up in my face in two days again, I'm quitting the fucking internet. And Jacob Webb, who gave up a home run to Josh Young yesterday, comes in with the bases oh, loaded to face Mitch Garver. That ball is hit in the air to deep left field. Hayes going back at the wall. It's gone. Oh, well, anyway. It's a great all I want is the, uh, I'd love it if the Astros win it. Yeah, I'd love it if the Mets won it. Yeah, but I think but the Padres are going to get it. it. Can it it'd be good if it's the uh, Astros versus the Mets. Hmm. Yeah, can it be that? I, I, that's know. what I'm thinking. Yeah. I'm not sure who's yeah. in what not league sure it works. Yeah. Is. yeah, but it's um, I don't know. But Philly, I don't think you're gonna do it. I can't no. see Philly. No, just can't. They've been there they've, and there about. They, seven yeah, years, they've been but... hovering around, but I just don't think they're good enough. Um, not not when you see teams like the Padres, and even the Mets come into form. But I don't know. It's uh, for me. I'm going for the Padres. Yeah, I'm overall. going for the the. The Houston, the, tech, the the Dodgers or the Astros. Astros, there you go, eh? Let us know in the comments who you fancy. Yeah. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, get over to your own tree as well. Very, I watch his videos all the time. I watch his other ones. He proper keeps him up to date with sport. He's good. But he's, he's very humorous with it yeah, as well. Yeah. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe as well. We'll catch yep. you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers.